everyone, so today I'm going to show you some of the products that I got from the MAC Style Black Collection. Um, it was released, I think, a week ago or something like that, or a couple weeks ago. You know, I've been looking forward to this collection for a long time. I don't think I've been this excited about a MAC collection since last year when the Cult of Cherry was released, so I think this is definitely one of the better collections that MAC has released in, in recent times. Um, like, I haven't really bought a lot of MAC in a really long time. So I'm going to show you the products that I got and just do a little bit of a, re of a review. Um, the first thing I got is the cream color base in Bat Black and I've actually been wanting this for a long time. This is actually a pro item. You can get it um, from MAC Pro or at Pro Stars. Um, but it's not available here where I live once again, so I was really happy that this was released. This is um, a cream color base and what these are, these are like um, multi-purpose products that you can use for different things and it's kind of a maroonish black color. I can maybe just swatch it for you. And um, this one, they released I think two of them. One of them was black and this one is bat black, so it's not, it's not totally black, it's like a maroonish black color. I'm not sure if that's going to show up. Um, in this light. I don't actually have a lot of cream color bases. I have one other one. I don't use them that much. Um, the other one that I have is bronze. I think this is available permanently. Now the difference that I found between these two is that this bat black one is really 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 creamy. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I was kind of expecting it more to be the consistency of this one. Um, it might be because this one is older. Like the bronze one is way more um, drier consistency so it's not as slippery. Um, when I actually received this there was like a little bit of oil kind of on the top so I'm thinking it might be because this one is like really new. This one is a few years old so I'm going to um, I'm going to leave it actually open with the lid open for like a week or something or for a few days and then just see if the consistency is going to change at all because I was I was kind of hoping to use this as an eyeshadow base but it's really creamy so I think that this is going to crease really easily so I'm a little bit disappointed with that to be honest um, but again I'll see if the texture changes once it's a bit kind of more dry. Alright the next product um, that I got is the um, the Young Punk Mineralized Eyeshadow, which is the purple one. I think there was four released. One was the blue one, one was like a golden one, there was this purple one, and then there was one that was kind of like a black, a smoky, blacky, gray kind of color. And I was looking at this one and the gold one. I wanted to get the gold one at first too, but I, I kind of saw pictures of it and it looked a lot like MAC um, reflects, or reflects Antique Gold Pigment and I have two samples of that, so um, I just went for the purple one. Now the purple one is really pretty though. Here's the swatch of it, you can see it there. It's really pretty. It's like um a shimmering purple and the sparkles are awesome. Like it really, really looks really, really sparkly. Yeah, you can see it. So hopefully it'll show up in this light. It is like a really, really pretty purple. It's kind of similar to Beauty Mark. So if you have Beauty Mark, this is kind of like a more sparkly version. This is kind of what I wanted Beauty Mark to be more like actually. Like it's just, like the color comes off better, I think. So, um, these are definitely, I think you can use these wet as well, like if you do want to apply it wet, just apply a little bit of either mixing medium or some water just on the edge of it, just so you don't ruin the whole shadow. Then, so that's the only eyeshadow I got from that one. Um, I got one of the glimmer glasses. These are really similar to dazzle glasses and you guys know that I am not a big fan of dazzle glasses at all, but I wanted to try out this one anyway because it's, it's such a unique color. It's like a really light um, black not, it's kind of a translucent black um, gloss and then there's flakes inside. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's like um, purplish, pinkish, gold sparkles in it. So this is, this would look better on top of um, lipsticks. I think it's a little bit useless on its own. There you can see a swatch of it. Like on its own, it doesn't really do much for me to be honest. Um, you could you could wear this over nude lipstick as well. Like I could totally put a layer of this on top of my lips right now, but this this product really shines on top of other lipsticks. So that's basically why I got this. I want to try this out on top of the Mattine lipstick that I got um, from the collection. I got the Night Moth or yeah Night or sorry Night Violet 
Mattine. I love Mattine lipsticks. I have three Mattine lipsticks by now. I wish these were part of the permanent collection because they're just so opaque and they're really, really creamy. Um, this is um, Night Violet. So really, really gorgeous. I love colors like this. I love those kind of purple, deep purpley kind of lip colors. And these are just really, really rich, really pigmented, and um, gorgeous color. So I think that the Glimmer Glass, or whatever it's called, in Blackfire would look really awesome on top of that. Let's just test that out. Yeah, it looks really nice on top of that mattine. So I just applied a little bit. So you can see the little sparkles are showing up when you put it on top of the mattines. Um, so that's, I got that one. That's all I got actually from that collection. I only got four things, but then I also got two other products that um, weren't part of that collection, but I think that they work really well with this collection. One of them, I got this lip gloss. Um, this is So This Season. This came out with the Fall Winter Trend collection or whatever. This was released just prior to the uh, Style Black and it's such an awesome lip gloss. I love it. It's, um, it's like a perfect violet, or not violet, like deep purple kind of lip gloss. And I have, um, have a lip gloss that's similar to this from NYX called Grape. It's much more red toned. So here you can see grape beside it. It's a bit more burgundy toned versus the one from MAC. So this season is much more, um, much more purple, like a bluish purple. So I think that one is gonna look awesome on top of other lipsticks that I have. Lastly, I got um, a lipstick that I've been wanting for a long time actually. Um, this is MAC Media Lipstick. This is a satin finish is one of my favorite finishes for their lipsticks and I'll just do a swatch you can see it there um, so it's another one of those kind of burgundy lipstick shades and I absolutely love it so here you can see it in comparison to some similar lipsticks as you can see I absolutely love colors like this on me so this is the um, media one MAC Media. This is uh, NARS Scarlet Empress, which I've used in quite a few of my tutorials. This one is MAC So Scarlet. This came out with the Cult of Cherry. And this last one is one that I picked up recently. Um, I showed this on my blog. This is actually a Nivea Beauté um, lipstick. This is a drugstore brand here in Europe, so it's kind of similar. And lastly, I just added here a swatch of Bing Mattine, which was also from Cult of Cherry. So it's kind of um, like now I have a whole array of colors. So Bing Mattine is definitely the darkest. It looks black, but it's not. It's like a really, really, really deep aubergine color. And the last, that Nivea one is in the shade Bedtime Plum. So I just, I love the kind of colors like that. Obviously, you don't need this many lipsticks that are in the shade in the same sort of color family unless you are an addict like me. So overall, I think this collection was awesome. If I had to recommend something from this um, collection, I would definitely say to check out the mineral eyeshadows because they're really good for doing smoky eye looks. If you like, um, you know, sort of darker looks, I think those are really good. I really love the um, Mattine, uh, the Mattine, uh, lipstick and Night Violet. I think the other two are like, there's one that's black and then there's another black lipstick, I'd say. Unless you're, you know, really, really wanting to wear black lipstick, I'd say skip those because you can get black lipstick from, I think, Barry M, um, which is, of course, much cheaper. The Glimmer Glosses, mm, I'm not sure if it's totally worth it, to be honest, because, you know, they're not, I don't think they're really essential, but yeah. The Cream Color Base, I think, is pretty good but um, I'm gonna have to see you know if it's gonna dry down a little bit more because it is kind of rich um, there was also a, a liner with it the grease stick liner I was thinking of getting that but I read some reviews that people were saying that it's really really um, hard to blend like people some people were saying that's really dry texture so once you apply it it's kind of hard to smudge it out so that's why I didn't get it I have I still have shark skin and I still haven't used it up just because I find it so it, like it tugs on my skin so much so I didn't get that but overall I think this is a really really great collection um, I will definitely be doing a look with all these colors 
Um, as you can see, I kind of got everything in a sort of same color family because I really like those plums and aubergine shades. I hope you enjoyed that little haul, little review, and definitely check out the collection if you, you know, if you're interested in darker looks. I think this is an awesome collection to check out. So I hope you enjoyed that haul, um, and I will see you guys really soon. Take care, guys. Bye.